Okay, here we are at the Baza Society for the Age, my stomping grounds on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. We do a class for, uh, for I, I just call it movement. I know it's exercise, we call it, let's call it movement. You know, we, we're trying to, uh, we're starting with uh, some Qigong exercises and we're going to eventually do actually um, uh, some real Tai Chi. But that's going to be a while because, you know, the old folks, they gotta get that, 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 that. So anyway, I'm gonna, there's, there's an auntie, we're not gonna show you an auntie. Yeah, maybe we should show you an auntie. auntie. Yes, you know, she, she, she tried to punk out, man. She, she didn't, she did not want to, she did not want to take what I want. I'm gonna leave, I'm, gonna leave, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave her out of it. No, there, there she is right there. You know, she, but we did it easy, we did it easy today. Today, um, well, this is the hall, we go down here, and, uh, Society for the Age. Uh, every day they feed them. They feed them. I guess twice a day. It's the big kitchen there, like that. See, kitchen, big kitchen. Woo boy, they got everything like that. <laughs> and this is uh, this is where I, I usually have the space right here to do the class. Right here, just this space right here. And you know, there, there may be like anywhere from 40 to 60 people in the place, but only about 20, 20 take take part. Now today, instead of being in a regular spot over here, what I did is I brought them all the way to back here. And we did our first part of our Tai Chi. We did our first part of our Tai Chi right here because I wanted to do a sitting Tai Chi this time. They never did it before. So they were all shocked. You know, I never tell people what's gonna happen. So we had them in a semicircle here. And I, w I wanted to use these particular chairs because you know, they have the back, because the back's gotta be straight, whatever have you. And so that's what we did. That's what we did today. And I waited because uh, we were, all right, bye-bye. <laughs> so, so this is a uh, this is a Thursday, yeah, this is a Thursday, end of the week, but it's also uh, pension week and whatever have you. So a lot of people don't come through today. Anyway, so we finish there and then usually we come outside and we come out here and we do our little, uh, well, we walk out here, we do a certain walk that I do like that, a Qigong walk. And then uh, usually we get out here in the sun, a little vitamin D, get a little, uh, uh, little circle going. And then we, we sort of march, dance, march back into the space there, and I ended there for the, for the thing. Anyway, so there, that's it. So uh, then when I leave here, I, uh, I go down, because it takes about 40 minutes to walk down where I live. I'm on the other, other end of Dembaza. This is the site for the age here. They're fixing the paper, the paper, the paper. And then, this way. This the Baza. This is the Baza. I, I live on it. All the way to the other side. This is the, the side here. There's factories over there. They have infrastructure factories over there. So um, I guess they're gonna try to bring back factories. But you know what they try to what they try to do, they try to get some old big old company, a big old whatever to take over. That's not what we want here. We need a we need smaller, small business kind of thing. So anyway, so um, so when I finish in the day, when I you know when I finish with the with my people's the seniors, uh, then I usually go down with it, which I'm going to do right now. I go down to the uh, library and I read the paper and see what else I want to read in the library, and that's it. Uh, today, actually, oh, today I'm gonna stop before I go to the library. I gotta stop by at the Dumbaza, um where we get our Dumbaza meet at. Now I don't we. Really, where I live right here in Dubaza, I usually only meet like maybe once a week. And usually it's Dubaza sausage because Dubaza sausage is the best. But I think today I'm gonna get some Dubaza sausage for tonight. Uh, even though usually on Thursday nights, I go to Gubevu with my wife, but I'm gonna stay here Thursday night. I'll go tomorrow morning. Uh, Cause we got a new doggy. We got a little puppy. So I'm gonna get Dubaza sausage. Uh, just a little bit but i'm also going to get a couple of uh, lamb chops so i'll have uh, 
so we'll have a, a bone so the doggy can lick on the bone and have some stuff, whatever have you. It's a puppy, you know. I'm not going to give him big food. It's a puppy. So that's what we'll do. So there we go. So just to give you a little taste of uh, what I do in the morning with the effort. Actually, like I said, on Monday and Wednesdays is morning and on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, no, Tuesdays and Thursdays is morning and Monday and Wednesdays is afternoon. So midday, Monday and Wednesdays, Tuesday and Thursday is morning. So four days a week. And I build it into my schedule because I walk up here, it takes about 40 minutes to do the ex do, do work with them. So anywhere from, uh, I keep, I try to keep around 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes really. Uh, not too much to old folks, you know. And, uh, but then we're gonna increase it though. It's gonna go to, uh, kind of by October, we're gonna be doing full, full blast. They don't know this yet, you know what I mean? But they're coming along well, so we'll see what happens. Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna go to the, uh, to the Zimbaza meat place here. And I'm gonna get, uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get uh, the Zimbaza sausages. I'm gonna get the um, lamb chop. I like lamb chops. And then I'm gonna get the what's called sawdust. You know, when when the, it's, it's it's a butchery. So what they do is they when they cut the meat, you know, there's always you know uh, bone shavings and whatever excess on the floor. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that so that that the puppy will have a little bit of a let's call it uh, meat or whatever it have you meat with a little bone and uh, start feeding them, feeding the, feeding the puppy that. Uh, even though the mama's still around, but hey, I don't think the mama, <laughs> the mama not doing the mama thing too much. I don't see the puppy get a lot of milk from the mama. Anyway, so I think the puppy's about a month. No, no, let's be more on that. I have to find out. Maybe two months old. Let's see what happens. So, anyway, so that's it. That's it for the day. That's what I do. I being me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to the pet. Letting you know what I only suspect. And uh, in Dumbaza, one of my stomping grounds.